All right, we've seen this before. Jumping right on in. This is official U.S. PlayStation Magazine demo disc number 31. Roll Cage Stage 2. Did we do a Roll Cage game some episodes back? I know this was a PS1 game. The uh, first Roll Cage was. Pretty sure I played the first one. It was a kind of a racing game where you would... You could drive off the side, or up the side, and if your car landed upside down, it would just keep on going. Now, I noticed a PS1 era, so there was a quicker turnaround between um, sequels. So, it isn't like nowadays where you'd see, like, I mean, this, you wouldn't consider this a AAA game, but even like a AA or whatever, however you want to create that distinction would still take a little a few years to turn out but I mean something like this you got your engine tools and all that kind of stuff set up you could probably turn this around in a few months really I mean especially considering that like the developers learned lessons during the first developer and they got their tools set up they already have their dev kits all that kind of stuff the game, I don't, honestly, I don't remember <laughs> the first one I play. I mean, I know I played it, but um, I don't remember it well enough to know if there's some significant difference, whether this looks better or the controls are different. This may, as far as I can tell, just be a, like, a new racetrack pack. New cars, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'm having a Pitching in the frame rate here. Oh, what the hell is this? Did I get drunk? <laughs> but yeah, here's. Let's see if I can run the gimmick. Yeah, see, there you go. And if I were to fall, the car would just keep going. See, look at that. Oh, well, okay, I didn't land right on my roof. So. And now I'm losing. <laughs> well done, I lost. <laughs> I was winning. I came in third. Pretty sure they're only three racers, right? Ah, whatever. Let's get out of this. Yeah, it feels kind of wipeout-ish. In a lot of ways. Not quite wipeout, but definitely in that vein. Okay, I'm gonna have to reset to get out of this. Moving on. Colony Wars Red Sun. Oh, you know what? I forget which Colony Wars game I ended up owning. But Colony Wars was a space-based uh, flight simulator, combat simulator. It was a popular... Oh, did it crash? Let's try this again. I think it crashed. There we go. And no. Alright, I'll try Colony Wars again later. Hot Shots Golf 2. Never a big golf simulator fan. I remember playing the um, golf game on the Game Boy. <laughs> I know Hot Shots is popular. And it's honestly something I didn't remember it was a PS1 game initially. I, it came to my consciousness in the PS2 era. Although that can't really be true because... I mean, this was a demo disc that I had. I must have... I must have played this demo at least once. Oh, God, look at that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yep, fucked that up, didn't you, buddy? Oh, jeez, look at him just zipping up there. Stumbling around...
Perfect. Or not. Whatever. <laughs> Two stroke. 108 yards to go. It's a par three, so I'm, I'm fucked. You gonna hit that thing or what? Okay, I'm okay. I was controlling it wrong. That's my problem. I thought I had to uh, line it up back where it started. And... Shit. Okay, no, I don't know how to control this. And clearly I don't know how to do this. Although I'm I'm not on the green, I'm on the rough. I'm pretty close. What? You missed did you miss? Ha! <laughs> All right, buddy. Finally! Four over par. All right, yeah, it was bad. Moving on. Yeah, I know people who like, it, like, people who aren't even fans of golfing that like golf games. Like, I have a friend who, I, once saw spend like an enormous amount of time playing the golf minigame in Grand Theft Auto 5. The online one, I guess he was playing with a friend online. He was talking to somebody on that headset. Oh wait, what did I just click on? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I was looking away. I was looking at my other monitor. Okay, it's a Spider-Man game. Spider-Man games... I mean, I'm not a big Spider-Man fan, or really any Just comic book day in the life of fan. Just friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. When... But hey, I feel Spider. like... Hey, Black Cat, what's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed and they've got hostages. Use your Spidey compass and get to the bank quickly. Thanks, Cat. And he falls to his death. <laughs> so much smog. Oh, shit. That was that, that the demo just end because I died? All right, I'm going back in. Spider-Man was a game series that I feel like didn't really hit its uh, didn't really hit its stride until like the PS2 and original Xbox generation. That was probably the generation where the technology was evolved far enough that you can really give the impression of the guy swinging through a city as opposed to whatever it is we're about to experience. I don't know. In the, in a couple of seconds before I died, I think I had I think they were trying to go for the same thing, but I mean there's only so much you can do on a PlayStation 1. The disc is so slow, there's not enough memory. But we'll see. All right. So swing right we have R2. Come on. Just another day in the life of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. When... Hey, Spider! Hey, Spider! Hey, Black Cat, what's going on? Damn it! <laughs> I hit the select button and it dropped me out. What the... F I was trying to just skip over the... Alright, give me a sec. Alright, alright, I figured it out now. What infuriating demo design. My Spidey compass will help me find the bank. Okay, so they clearly tried going for something similar, but 
the limited PlayStation hardware is definitely a factor here. I mean, it's a level. I'm in a level. I'm not in a larger world. And the level contains these buildings. Now, those buildings in the middle, which have a higher level of detail, and then these buildings over on the side, which... Spider sense tingling. Something's going on here. Yes. <laughs> You're lost. <laughs> You're, um... I'm really supposed to, I'm ob obviously supposed to be running around here. <laughs> Dude, you gonna leave that mess everywhere? Uh, up, dude, up. There you go. Oh, kick, punch. Up, oh, he's dead. <laughs> I mean, for what it was, for the era that this came out in, I guess it's kind of impressive, but uh, I'm just going to be stuck comparing it to the games I do have a little more experience with, which was the Xbox and PlayStation 2 games. I guess the Xbox version was the better version. I mean, this is not something here. I just wish the uh, design of the demo wasn't so infuriating. And always the eternal question, what is Spider-Man swinging off of? Eagle One to Tower, 1033 in progress. En route to bank. Roger, Eagle One. Keep your eye out for Spider-Man. The Halloween boy shows up. He's one dead bug. Holy shit. <laughs> this got out of hand quick. It's a tall building. These guys are serious. What city is this that has that many skyscrapers that closely packed together? That aren't very wide either. Anyway, that demo ended, and I'm not jumping back into another <laughs> gameplay session. That wasn't very good. Come on now. Eagle One Harrier attack. Okay, I remember something kind of funny here. On the, because this came, this these discs came with uh, the play, official U.S. PlayStation magazine. The, um, they would have pages in the magazine that was talking about the demos. And I remember what they were saying, what they said about this one is it didn't matter how many Pepsi points you saved up, they weren't going to buy you a Harrier because there was this commercial that uh for the Our pepsi points the terrorists are yeah yeah there's a there was a commercial for the pepsi um pepsi points promotion which was you would hey i refueled if you saved up these points by saving the caps on bottles or cardboard proofs of purchases on the, the six packs or whatever you would accumulate points and then you could use, um, sorry refueler, you're going down. <laughs> you could spend that those points on merch. Hover mode selected. Oh, I'm hovering. I don't want to hover. Anyway, they at the end of the commercial, after all like the hats and backpacks and crap that they showed. It showed a kid coming to school in a Harrier jet, and it was like 15 million Pepsi points or some crap like that. And that was the... that's what they were. Yeah, this is slow-paced even in the... look at the graphical junk on the bottom side of the jet. This is slow-paced even by PlayStation 1 um, standards. Where's my rudder? 
Oh, uh, that's selected. hover. hover mode <laughs> Jeep, cheetah. Right, there we go. Sidewinders. Oh, no, I'm in hover. I'm gonna get shot down by doing that. Oh, wasting a wasting a rocket. Incoming fire. How do I? How do I? Nope. Oh, crap. I got out of it. Just a select button, not start and select or whatever. Well, anyway, that was that was that. I'm not going back into that. I mean, Flight Sims took a big step up in this generation, but I think you needed another generation to make it work really well. Colony Wars may have been a different story because it was space-based, but I couldn't get that demo to load. Ikido? What is what is what is this? Kaido? I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Key kiddo. <laughs> Developed by Naps. So many. Oh, S N C. I don't know what that is. There's so many. Oh, infograms. Oh, okay, so it was a part of infograms and interplay. Okay. Did infograms own interplay? Naps. There were so many developers that sprang up in this era that just faded into obscurity, or maybe were. Obscure the entire time. <laughs> Who knows? Travis. This is a fighting game. Travis. Is this a um, beat em up? Like a Streets of Rage kind of thing? I guess, yeah. Yeah, just get me down. Come on. Wow. Dramatic sound effects for an elevator. Oh! Yeah, these kinds of beat-em-up games were really in their heyday on the Sega Saturn. Or not Sega Saturn, Sega Genesis. Like, the Streets of Rage games is really what I think of. But there were plenty of other arcade -y kind of things on all the consoles that you could play. They didn't really make a good transition to the 3D era. It's just something awkward about it. <laughs> I think that, well, there's a more recent Streets of Rage. In fact, I, I, should, I should play it. That I hear was really good. But then again, that is some 20 years after it came out, some 20 years or so after this did. And I guess perhaps the reason why they just didn't make the transition into 3D that well is because the generation of consoles that they were. I mean, this looks actually pretty good, surprisingly good for a PlayStation 1 game. But the technology just isn't quite there to give you the same kind of experience that um, you would get out of the 2D, 2D games. And plus, like, well, it's 3D, we gotta do 3D stuff. So they have all of these camera pans. Pick up, pick it up. They have all these camera pans that are kind of pointless. Like, it's it's an awkward, and, an awkward camera position, and it keeps repositioning itself, trying to get these cinematic shots. And it's disorienting, really. <laughs> it does feel a little mindless. There were so many beat em up games back. Like, I remember this Batman game that I'd played. 
It was a it was an SNES game. It was really bad, but I played it a whole bunch of times because hell, why not? Okay. Cynthia and Cody or Koji. I can't even see them. Is she a boss? Oh, he exploded. <laughs> How do I pick up things? Oh, she she exploded too. Oh, do I have a time limit? Yeah, I do. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> oh, they got a robot. You know, come to think of it, the bouncer on the PlayStation 2 was really just a version of this kind of game. People gave it a lot of shit for being both too easy and too hard at the same time, which is a weird complaint. <laughs> I had a story mode. I mean... I guess there's a story here, but being just a demo, we just got tossed into a level. But usually these stories evolve, involve a little more than my girlfriend was kidnapped, I need to go and uh, punch people to get her back. I was beating up police before, why am I fighting Voltron all of a sudden? Alright. Oh, it has a life bar. I didn't even see that earlier. Where's my life bar? It doesn't look like I'm taking any damage by anything. I mean, it may have been made easy, made easier for the sake of the demo. Excellent! Oh, I thought it was dead. Killings! Zero times five hundred. Oh, there's another level. Really? Cinematic. Alright, alright, I get the point. I can't let these episodes get too long. Oh, this was that, um... It was a game I never owned, but it was one I was thinking about getting. And it's just a video, so I don't get to play it. I never, I never ended up buying it, so I never played it, but it was about a kid who was like Firestarter. He could start fires with his mind, and that was how you fought enemies. And I hope they show some kind of gameplay. Man, the CG looks weird. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that in the if well short of 20 years since this happened, these CG, uh, pre, these pre-rendered cinematics look so much worse than what can be done in real time now. Or real time back in the last, in the PlayStation 4 era, or real time back in the PS3 era even. And in some ways, real time of the PS2 era. Just the amount of detail, and I think, uh, Character animations are so much better now. Was that a person with a clock in their mouth? <laughs> oh, these cinematic trailers don't really do a whole hell of a lot for me because it doesn't really give me any kind of doesn't really give me any kind of an idea of what a crave really <laughs> doesn't give me much of an idea of what the game is about. See, that does not. That does not uh, entice me to want to play it at all. 
WWF SmackDown. Holy shit. You know, as much as everybody goes on about the N64 games, and the N64 games, I mean, like, No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000 were the greatest wrestling games of all time. But people forget how good the original SmackDown and SmackDown 2 were on the PlayStation 1. There were two different companies, or I guess there was more than two, but you had mostly... Um, he had a claim, I think it was, was doing the WWF games in the early generation, and they had those sort of um, a continuation of like the SNES style wrestling games where it was really cartoony and stuff. And then they jumped into the 3D world where they had these ultra real, uh, well, <laughs> ultra realistic in terms of a pro wrestling game, it's a little ridiculous, but it was much slower paced. And the games were all right in their day. They introduced a creative wrestler, all that kind of thing. But it kind of... Um, it was kind of difficult to play because they had to be controlled with these sort of button combinations. So it was sort of like this slow, even more awkward Mortal Kombat kind of thing. But then THQ, and I guess Ukes was the developer... THQ published the WCW games, which they were a little light on features. But like WCW vs. NWO or Revenge or whatever it was called, I think there were a couple of them, played so much better. Then they, then WWF licensed was uh, licensed with THQ to make WWF games, and Acclaim I think did the WCW after that, and. The result was like WrestleMania 2000 on the N64 and No Mercy, which was a little bit better, being sort of like the gold standard. And then people are like, well, what's uh, the PlayStation going to get? And people are like, oh, the PlayStation doesn't have anything. But then SmackDown comes out. And SmackDown, this is going to be blasphemy to some people, played better than the than the, uh, like, No Mercy did. The gameplay was a little bit faster. Matches would end quicker, but honestly, for a video game, that's probably a better thing. It was so well done. And then, and then, um, SmackDown 2 would eventually come out, which was a bit of an improvement. Then it, it kind of took a shit after that for a little while, then got better, then got worse, then got worse. And then, I think, what was it, um... WWE 2020 was like a dumpster fire, but I think I think um, Ukes had moved on from that point. But anyway, I'm gonna try and um, change my emulator settings around to get Colony Wars to work. If it doesn't work, this will be the end of the episode. If it does, well, I got one more game to play.